Okay, so you'll see that it skips a few rows on the on this uh, primary calculator screen, um, and you can see that it's already uh, if this auto focus works, you can see that it's got some of the tracks already. Um, what this does is like at the top, once this little processor marker, or whatever you want to call it, gets to the top, <coughs> it checks to see if this is uh, finished processing these uh, three columns that were initially told to this calculator to work on. Um, so this one was saying I is ready when this got to the top and so this one sent information back over and this one has just sk uh, skipped on. Um, and it'll just keep going. So you can see it's in pause mode right now. Um, that's the only way I can send or retrieve data uh, for right now. But again, this is only in uh, basic with the help of an assembly program called Z-Enter, which I did not make. Hey. I thought it was like going to be Saturday. And then you wake up and you're like, I hate this. Out of focus. There we go. Okay, so now it's finished running. Um, however, I forgot to put some ending programming in there, so this one's still waiting for this one. It's not information, so I was just going to break it. And this is the finished product. Um, it's just a Malwarebot set of, I think, eight iterations. Um, it's negative two and positive two for the x-axis, and um, Let's see, it's it's equally scaled for the y-axis, so it's like negative 2 times, I don't know, 31 divided by 47 for the, oops, oh yeah, could have just done that, but yeah. Um, this one was doing about, this one was finished about two columns, um, when this one finished like three columns, so I estimate that it's like 150 Let's see, a 150% increase, or in other words, it's going 2.5 times faster. Um, but I might be slightly wrong with that. Um, yeah. Distributed computing on calculators. <laughs>